idea behind the grant program is that while Quartz Hill and Waterworks 40 have indicated that they would use the vast majority of their allocated funds for half of grass program, some of the smaller uh, smaller mutual water companies may decide to use the sprinkler head the rebate program or some other method that has less administrative overhead. <coughs> Uh, with regards to the uh, grant program, wait, just, just a second. On, on the rebate, why we're we talking about that, or the grant, we're not trying to make a 20 page grant deal. Basically, we want a paper trail saying this is what we're requesting, this is what we plan to do with it, and this is the results of it. So, uh, these uh, don't necessarily have a, a significant financial requirement, but they do have some uh, staff time requirement for these. Uh, uh, join the Antelope Valley uh, Water Group. Uh, this is a group that's uh, currently with uh, water. Current members are Waterworks 40, Port Sill, Pondell Water District, and Roseman Community Services District. Uh, support the landscaping workshops. These are the monthly workshops that are, uh, uh, that are done by the uh, college. Uh, that support is yet to be determined. Um, a, the fall conservation workshop that uh, Neil mentioned earlier, uh, the one that's currently in planning. Um, further uh, funding the demonstration gardens, uh, we've already put uh, $25,000 in the resource conservation garden and $15,000 uh, in the uh, fairgrounds demonstration garden. Um, providing some uh, school supplies that have a uh, water conservation theme so that uh, you can uh, uh, tend to want to uh, keep that message out amongst the fourth and fifth graders who will be carrying that message and uh, you know, uh, provide for that long-term uh, water demand reduction that we're hoping to receive out of this, uh, keeping public education awareness uh, available. Just quite quick on that one. Um, one thing that we kind of discussed, and just on the last promotion line, we give out, and I don't, I don't know George loves them, the little rulers with the water drip deals. You know, we give them out the fair, and I think half of them left the trash can. If they went out to all the schools and fourth and fifth grade, the teachers can use them for supplies. They can go home for for activities. Their, their kids could be given an assignment to go home and major their drip and make a report in class. I think that's a bigger bang for a buck than just handing them out at the fair that you really don't know what the return is. So that, that's what that one is about. It's kind of doing what we've been doing, but a different part. Of it. You know, where someone could go to get all the water conservation information all in one location. And third, uh, uh, potentially look to do a home of the month recognition program where you could highlight a home where they you know, transform their landscape from grass to, to some other method and, you know, and uh, you know, kind of keep that word moving out forward with the rest of that. And on the public, I'm going to interrupt again, on public awareness, you know, I think a lot of that, we already have ability to join other groups that are on this, but I see the Alabama State, Alabama State, Alabama State Water Contractors being wanting to participate, which would bring our, our cost down a little bit. Home of the Month, I think that's something we turn over to Alabama Valley and some of the realtors. That I think they would be the ones to be great of running something along that upper east. The Lancaster would be beautiful to be the Home of the Month. But I think you know we could probably get support for some of the stuff through the Alabama Valley Board of Realtors. So some of these things, we could probably follow through and find partnerships to reduce the cost or make it more effective. The real tech details yet to be determined with regards to that, but the concept is is that if the water demand gets uh, gets reduced, uh, one of the ways when you have a water shortage is to reduce your outside water use. But if you've already done that, then you're in a uh, somewhat limited position to be able to reduce. But if you have water in the water bank that uh, corresponds to the amount of water that you produce, you would be able to have that every uh, that so there's just a lot more talk that probably needs to happen with regards to that. But but the committee did want to make sure that uh, you know water banking was a, a part of it. Uh, may seem appropriate, and we want to get more direction as to uh, what you what you feel comfortable with uh, moving forward. Yeah. And just kind of a kind of quick idea. I mean, I'm not trying to influence anything on here, but if we have 20, roughly 27. Uh, per mayors, just say uh, 30. If you did 5,000 a piece, they're already to $150,000. I mean, 
So you can see. What do you mean you're not trying to improve? Uh, well, I mean, I'm just saying, I, I want you to realize that, you know, once you say those numbers, you know, it doesn't go very far. And I'm not trying to say we need to go to 4 million or 5 million. We, we decide a budget, maybe it's a pilot leader, and we try it, we get it in our budget, and maybe it's ongoing at 150 every year, or it's, it reduces as, as Dwayne has up. There's so many options, but, you know, when you talk about just splitting up among purveyors of what we have, um, it doesn't go very far. So um, that's kind of the observation that I want to make out there is uh, at what point is it inefficient to give uh, even a small group $2,500 because how far does it, does it really go? It was hosted by the city of Lancaster. And that ran for several years and it kind of went out. I called Robert and it was asked if we could do that, bring that back. And I called Robert Neal and, and he was not He's retiring at the end of the year, so he's not super of the city doing it. Uh, I called Rich Campbell with the Resource Conservation District. He wasn't all that thrilled. So the committee's going to talk about either the college can take over hosting that or whether the Yellow Valley State Water Contractors or AVEC wants to do that. But that's where we got the cities to do their wastewater ordinances and some of those ordinances. We sat down together and talked about what we could do and how we need to do that. And, Things didn't happen very fast in that committee, but it was a great roundtable um, activity, and maybe that does need to merge into the state water contractors or somebody else in the future. But that's where we need to to get down and say, okay, you know, we're doing this part, we need to do this part, and, and get all of our things like that. So we'll try to get that committee going. I think the policy is a good idea. I just had one comment. I agree with the comments that um, legally you can't force people to not take them out, but you can be a contract as said before, get paid back the money that you contributed. So you could put into a contract or a grant, which, you know, these contracts that, let's say, Mr. Paulson does with these two page forms, and you could put in if you take it out within two years and the money goes back to the I've seen that a few places, but it's just an option, but you're right. Preventing them from taking it out is very important. Also, after some else purchased the property and make more of a could have done it. Have you um you uh, talked about uh, I do a lot of work with Orange County and LA County and a lot of the net service area. Do you know we can get a copy of your ordinance for that you use a public record that we can take a look at so maybe give us some ideas? Yeah, and all this stuff is public record. I mean, they, the Metropolitan has a whole massive rebate program where they provide a certain amount, and then a lot of the parts is paying. Yeah, a lot of the yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I'm happy to help provide it. What, what it really takes is, is is to get the cities on board to have a, a landscape ordinance, which they both have. They're written differently, but basically make it where once you change it, you can't go back. Well, I, I remember when Adam Rick used uh, the uh, director of, uh, I guess the director in charge of District 40 for this region, um, said that if we could take out uh, 5,000 homes, you know, for this program, that he'd have more water available for will search and other you know, other things. That's one of my concerns. I don't think this water is new water that goes to new buildings because it should go to the water bank to support those people who have conserved water. Um, that's not, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm just telling what he said. Yeah, because yeah, it would help down the road. Any more discussion or questions? Okay, we have a motion and a second authorizing uh, expenditure of $200,000 to a uh, water conservation program this year to be distributed among our customers according to some formula based on prior year's water usage on a 50 50 uh, basis in other words our customers would have to uh, share equally in the cost uh, all in favor in favor of saying aye uh, aye action. opposed aye. 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 our project um, you'll notice that Corville and St. Louis are continue to decline with their um, historical average numbers, so it's actually down in the 40s now. Um, this is the chart that I show each time the station index, no real uh, precipitation, you know, recent distance 
Spend a lot of money, work very hard, hoping something's going to work. And this is the reality of the insurance policy that is really working. If there's anything to tweak, actually, is up a little bit. That's if you're relying more on our water than the, the wells up there. Um, extraction, as I mentioned, the extractions are uh, happening. We're going 17 MGD to 80th and 8th. Um, we have had some real true challenges the last few weeks. Um, if you can imagine, the water in the canal isn't really moving very much. I mean, they're pumping a little bit at night, but they're not pumping it very much just because there's not a lot of demand or there's not a lot of water to deliver on the East Branch. And so that water's been sitting up there uh, for quite some time. I've got a couple of pictures that hooked them. Fortunately, it's, it looks pretty nasty, uh, the stuff we're having to deal with, but we're meeting regulations and it's coming out the other end very well. This is the side filter, very backwash. That looks like my query. So it's it's really the operations guys. They got commend because they they've really been uh, working hard on this. this is a port so it's pretty nasty stuff, and we really had to turn a lot of knobs to try to rectify this. Um, I know John, you know me. <laughs> no, we're 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 getting through it. We're getting through it. We've changed some of the techniques, we've uh, changed some of our chemicals and different things, but we're staying at it. 